here's what it says is going to I, pe I picked this one and they shall mount up with wings as eagles Isaiah 40 31 hmm. and we're going to put it I think it'll go down here on a plank mm -hmm. in below there now here's where and it looks like you got this eagle uh, right here here now, all I am really interested in is just the outline mm -hmm. because I'm going to cut all this stuff away from <coughs> it, down away from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's going to be real big. This is just a so There's what I'm going to do where I try to capture n it, not just a, a ripple in the water, uh, like, but this is, he's causing them. This is going to be a reflection of this bird that's going to be in stone. Uh, if I can do that right, it, I, I've got to trap trap shadows by cutting down in and stuff. I've got to trap them. And mm -hmm. there's places in here that will be darker. Um, and it should more reflect a, an eagle there. In here, before, and of course, here, the right here's the edge of it. Mm -hmm. Now, this will slant. This will slant down to three sixteenths of an inch, I believe, is what I'll uh, give the give the border. Mm -hmm. It's on a slant. It'll go from a whole brick down almost to a half a brick. Mm -hmm. right. Now that'll, that'll leave this at a half a brick. Mm -hmm. Now I can go a little bit deeper. Uh, as I carve, and I'll probably carve it all down to a half a brick. Then I'll carve these down even deeper. About how shallow uh, will you? Uh, well, I don't want to go too much. You get too <coughs> thin and thin places, and and if you got thick and thin, it's apt to crack. What's so, the thinnest you would let it get to? I uh, I would I wouldn't go down much. Mm. I mean, you're already talking uh, half a brick. Of an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch thick mm -hmm. at the back. It'd be about the maximum you could do. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do everything right, it's kind of like the, the half dollar or the nickel. You, it's not very deep mm -hmm. that that person has put George Washington's or uh, whatever, a buffalo or something on, on a mm -hmm. coin. It, you've got somewhere, it's got to tell you how deep, what's the deepest, and so forth. Mm -hmm. That's all running around yeah. in your head. Now, from with here, the. Uh... From here back to a tail feather mm -hmm. can only be a half a, half a brick. I've just got a half a brick. Mm -hmm. that his, head's, uh, his head and about here are, are going to be. There, there'll be the highest place, with the exception of maybe the toes. Mm -hmm. The toes are going to come close to how deep this beak and his eye and stuff are. But I'm going to rearrange these toes and stuff because they're he's got them twisted around. They're, they look kind of funny to me. I mm -hmm. I'll clarify <laughs> that. I'll probably change his tail just a little bit. I don't like. All of it, even though that's what he was doing to guide himself mm -hmm. with his tail. Now, uh, how do you think you're going to deal with the uh, reflection? Are you going to pick up see I'm certain gonna, key points of? I'm going to carve the, those. I know you're talking grooves. about going in with it, right? Yeah, I'm going to cut it down in. Mm -hmm. This dark is going to be cut down in. Then what I'll do is I'll take either something. I'll just pick up something sometimes. And I might mash that down in the brick, and I'll mash a cluster, or I might just use one of my bricks as just a, it's kind of sketching. I'll see what kind of dent that makes. Now that dent, if I, if I mash it down there, even on my finger, it will cause a, a dark spot because it just traps just the light coming in. It, it tra it, it, it traps this shade down in. It's going to be mm -hmm. shaded down in a low place. But I might just do that after I carve it. If I want it a little bit darker, 
I'll pebble it or I'll take the end of my knife blade and do something to it. And all the time I'm trying to trap this shadows mm -hmm. to, make a, to, to make a shadow. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have any color, don't have anything like that. Even though I just sketched this in color, I just did it to see what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. I, it's just for my own sure. stuff. But, uh, uh, anyway, uh, that that tells me I can count the brick. It's it's from here, uh, from the wing tip here to there is 76 inches. That's all the brick will cross here. From that wing tip it, to this one is 76 inches. But I can also, it's 27 courses tall. It, here I, it shows the slant on this brick, I'll come out here a quarter of an inch and then start in a slant down here. To uh, if if that's a three three sixteenths of an inch, I'll leave a little height right here. That'll be that'll be down three sixteenths of an inch. It's kind of like framing something. That's just a frame, but that gets you back there, and it gets the depth. Mm -hmm. And. Um, I guess of course there'll be water here. Now there's also some great big ripples running through this behind him in this river or whatever he's attacking there. They're on an angle a little bit. So I may carve some of them and maybe I, there is several ways you can do it. Some if you want to highlight something, you can smooth it. A brick is a kind of a rough object. And if, if I want to make something stand out like this white around his head, I will go on and take my knife blade and I will mash down on that to make it as smooth as it can be. Now, if it's smooth, it'll pick up light. It'll be light or something. Or any, any light will hit on it. it it'll be smooth these are going to be feathers and they're going to be carved and they've got little marks everywhere so they're going to turn darker and then i'll make that one i'm trying to get to the lightest i can get that there to kind of symbolize a bald eagle mm -hmm. and his tails like that too but i'll use that to, it's it's a, it's a matter of trapping trapping light and blocking out light and casting shadows and mm -hmm. so forth. Somebody might ask, uh, say, well, good golly, it looks kind of, uh, I'm ready for them, if they ever ask. Say, well, it, it, why didn't you do a, a eagle that's equal on one side and the other? Generally speaking, that's called formal balance. This is called informal balance. They'd say, well, it's out of balance to the left. You've got a big old wing sticking up here, and it looks out of balance. If you get to thinking about it, if you pick the center of it right here, which is about where I've put this pen, you've got all this is going to be a shadow. That's over on the right side. It's not over here, which you, you think is more going on here. But look, all of his eye and his beak and he, all this and his feet are on this half mm -hmm. so it's weighted over here to this half and you, you get to thinking about it yeah the, and it's uh, uh, balance is interest mm -hmm. if it's interesting it's in more interesting on the right side than it is on the left side mm -hmm. if if that happens if somebody asks me why did you pick one like that it's much more interesting to do something that's out of balance, say bend this side over or something like that, other than having a person standing at attention. Mm -hmm. That's, see I'm equally just, what's on this side half is on this side. If you just do that, that, that breaks up that. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do formal balance stuff, it's just both both wings come up there in a B, v shape or something. I think it's all oh, so you know, head right in the middle of the page and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna stay away from that. Now, do you uh, when you start carving the brick before you fire it, will you do any kind of light study with it? You know, having light shining on it to well, to I, see to see how the 
I just want white so I can carve. But mm. yeah. And see, Study how your shadow is going to react, you know, uh, with yeah, the way you do this. Yeah, light's going to come down. That's right. You, you know, so you would actually have some lights to study yeah. that. Okay. And that you can increase that. If you've got the stuff there and want to increase it, say, oh, it needs to be a little bit darker, you adjust these can lights. They'll mm -hmm. put can lights over it up in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it'll be lit probably at okay. all times. Mm -hmm. And see down here, I've even written that uh, that saying. Mm -hmm. This the other things were just longer and added more to it. But it, to get right to it, this was what it said. 